Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you fragrances for every occasion. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, y'all are always in my DMs like, sis, I'm going to a wedding, what should I wear? Sis, I'm going to work, I got a new job, what should I wear? Like, you guys wanna know which fragrances to wear for different environments and different occasions. So I decided to compile it all and put it in one video. So if you wanna know what fragrances to wear to different occasions, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so the most common event that you ladies wanna know which fragrance to wear for is that of a wedding and specifically a bride. So what I chose is Delina Exclusive. I feel like this would make a perfect wedding scent for a bride. You will smell so sweet and beautiful and angelic and sexy, like all rolled in one. Cause you wanna be angelic, right? But you also wanna smell very confident but you don't want to offend anybody. Like, I feel like what goes into a wedding scent has to be like a lot of factors. But in my opinion, Delina Exclusive checks off all of the boxes. Let me tell you some of the notes. So it opens up with lychee, very bright and juicy and fruity. There's pear, another bright and juicy and fruity note. Bergamot, Turkish rose, um, oud, incense, vanilla, amber, and woody notes. I feel like no matter when your wedding is, winter, spring, summer, and fall, you can wear Delina Exclusive and you're going to shine. People are going to be smelling you and just hugging you and congratulating you and you're going to be smelling awesome in Delina Exclusive. So in my opinion, this is the perfect wedding scent, Delina Exclusive. Next up, one of my favorite nights ever, like in life, date night. <laughs> I love a good date night, y'all. And for the date night scent, it's none other than Cavort by Fragrance Du Bois. Y'all know, if you're not new to this channel, you know I am completely obsessed with this scent. I talk about it all the time. But y'all, like, I talk about fragrances that I absolutely really, really love and really, really wear <laughs> because it's not just about talking about what's new, what's hot, getting something first. This is not what this channel is about at all. It's just about my life, my experiences, what I wear, what I love, and what I wanna bring to you guys. And this right here is one of my favorite and go-to date night fragrances. This opens up with saffron, there's Havana, geranium, cinnamon, there's rose absolute, orange flower, ylang ylang, jasmine, patchouli, ladanum, sandalwood, and incense. Y'all, is it a safe blind buy? I don't think so. Is it a safe fragrance for someone who's used to wearing um, Burberry Her and Twillies and Dolce and & Gabbana and those designer scents? Possibly not. It's a very different type of scent. I'm gonna say it's unisex because anybody could wear whatever they want. But in my opinion, it leans more feminine. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent, y'all. When I smell this, it just smells all types of sexy to me. You can save 20% on this fragrance on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, thegreat20. All the information is gonna be in the info box below. Y'all, Cavort is no joke, okay? My favorite date night fragrance, my go-to date night fragrance. I smell it all the time, even if we're not going on a date night and I'm just coming up in my closet, I just pop the top and get the sniffing because I just love how it smells. It's so sexy to me. Love this, perfect for a date night. Cavort by Fragrance Du Bois. So the next setting is an office setting. You work around a bunch of people in cubicles, or even if you have your own office, but you're interacting with people all day. You wanna smell clean, you wanna smell fresh, you still wanna smell good, okay? You wanna let them know like, oh, she smells good. Like you wanna be known for smelling good up in that office, okay? But you wanna smell clean and non-offensive, Prada La Femme, perfect fragrance. It's a tuberose and vanilla, and I believe there's yellow florals in this fragrance. There's beeswax in this fragrance. It's very different. It's very unique, but very clean, very understated. It smells like soap. You just smell like you took a really long shower and you probably didn't put on any fragrance, but your soap is still radiating off of your skin because your skin just smells really, really good because you've cleaned yourself, you've exfoliated, and you smell like soap. That's what this fragrance reminds me of, but just a little bit more elevated than soap. Honestly, I purchased this fragrance 
and um as you can see like my dent is you see a little dent I purchased this and I was wearing it, but I was only wearing it in the house. So I'm like, why did I get this fragrance just to wear in the house? It's really not my vibe, but it smells really, really good. I would not repurchase this fragrance. I'm going to use it. I'm going to finish it, but I continue to wear it at home. I continue to wear it on errand days, but it's definitely not my my style of fragrance. And this is a perfect running errands type scent, and I do that a lot. But the thing is with me, guys, I don't care if I'm running errands or going to the supermarket. If I feel like wearing Cavort, I'm going to wear Cavort. If I feel like wearing Haley or um, Vanille Fatale or any other sexy, like deep fragrance that's more of my style, I'm going to wear it. I don't care if I'm just at home. I probably won't wear it to bed. Bed is where I draw the line only because from bed, I like to smell really sweet and you know, non-offensive to my nose. Like sometimes those fragrances can kind of choke you in the middle of the night and I'm not about that life. So something like this is perfect to wear like in the house, running errands. You just wanna smell clean and fresh. Perfect for the office, perfect for being around people and not smelling offensive or not smelling like you doing too much. Prada La Femme. Okay, so the next occasion is a gala. It's a black tie affair. The holidays are coming up and you have to get ready for the holiday parties, okay? Whether it's at somebody's house or it's for the workplace or you guys are just doing something big for the holidays, you need a holiday gala type fragrance. And what I chose is by Fragrance Dubois and it's Siberian Rose. Y'all, this is such a beautiful, I gotta spray this. I gotta spray this one. This is such a, and look at the atomizer. This is such a gorgeous scent. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so pretty. It's perfect for a black tie affair, guys. Perfect because it doesn't smell, you smell you, like you'll smell you and you'll smell amazing, but you don't smell like you're doing too much. You know what I mean? But it's so pretty. Let me tell you the notes. It opens up with pear, there's juniper berries, pink pepper, cinnamon, tuberose, ylang ylang, leather, moss, amber, and patchouli. Now let me tell you something. I think I've spoken about fragrances in my collection that have leather that I don't mind whatsoever. This is one of them, y'all. This has a leather note, but do not be afraid of this leather note whatsoever. If you guys have tried uh, Spirito Fiorentino by Tiziana Terenzi, that has a leather note. The leather in that fragrance is leathering. Okay, like it is leathering. You smell the leather in that fragrance. This one is just grounding the fragrance. This is so beautiful, so delightful. It's so gorgeous. It's so feminine. This is a complete feminine fragrance in my opinion. Can you wear it to a date night? Absolutely. Can you wear it to a girl's night? Absolutely. But if you have a gala, something that you want to be really dressed up for, Siberian Rose, y'all, will put you in that sexy, elevated, rich, gala type mood i'm telling you it's so beautiful and you can also save 20 percent on soavantgarde.com using my discount code the great 20 and get siberian rose y'all it smells gorgeous it's an all-year-round scent you can wear it winter spring summer and fall oh, it's so pretty siberian rose by fragrance dubois Okay, so now we're on a tropical vacation. There's palm trees, there's blue waters and blue skies, and we want to smell very tropical, very fruity, very sexy, very exotic. We want to match our location. So this fragrance, in my opinion, is perfect for a tropical vacation. It's floral, it's fruity, it has coconut, it's sexy, it's exotic, it'll last forever. Everybody on the island is going to want to know what you got on. You're going to smell better than everybody on that whole island. Everybody on the resort is going to want to know what are you wearing. And it's Orza by Tiziana Terenzi. Y'all, this is a fruit bomb, okay? It has exotic fruits in here. There's coconut in here. This is a beautiful, long-lasting, very sweet, very exotic fragrance. And when I tell you, it smells so rich. It smells so divine. This right here is another masterpiece fragrance. So it opens up with green apple. There's mandarin orange. There's plum. There's coconut, wild berries magnolia orchid jasmine lily of the valley bulgarian rose sandalwood benzoin vanilla y'all there's so many notes in this fragrance i think there's caramel in this fragrance as well let me turn the card over because the notes continue to go but i want to see if there's caramel yes 
there's caramel, there's Madagascar vanilla, there's amber. Y'all, Paolo is a genius, okay? I don't care what anybody says. He is definitely one of my favorite perfumers because he just does notes right. Like, he just puts all the notes that I would put in a fragrance, he puts them in a fragrance. I totally get him. Like, I totally get his nose, y'all. Orza is a masterpiece. Orza is beautiful. This could have been a wedding scent too, okay? Like, let's not get it twisted. But I feel like for a tropical vacation, it's tropical and it smells very fruity and fru fru la la, but definitely more depth, more edge. That vanilla and that caramel that makes it a little bit gourmand. So it's like a sweet, fruity, floral, gourmand, decadent, just everything i know a lot of people don't like the bottle i happen to think it's art it looks very beautiful to me but some people don't like it but y'all the juice inside is undeniable and get this beautiful masterpiece extra day perfume that's gonna last forever on your skin you're gonna smell better than everybody and that's on period so the next setting is church now i have a subby latanya shout out to you latanya latanya wears whatever the church okay she is the best smelling person in her church i know when anybody goes to hug her they're just like loving how she smells and they probably do not want to let her go but in my opinion tuberose imperial by bdk is the perfect church scent in church you're going to be around young people older people conservative people people that can't smell fragrance or you know whatever so to me i feel like tuberose imperial is the perfect sunday church scent you know what i mean or if you go to church on saturday um it's the perfect church scent because it smells really really good but you're not offending anyone you're not smelling sexy you know what i mean like you're just smelling very good and this is an amazing scent you're gonna smell like you have a whole whole lot of money because it smells rich it's one of the best tuberose fragrances that i've ever smelled tuberose can go real real right and it could go real real wrong okay this one right here is the perfect interpretation of tuberose in my opinion it's creamy it's sweet it doesn't smell like a sharp heady white floral tuberose. it doesn't smell like that at all it smells so delicate so smooth it is so beautiful y'all and perfect for church so let me tell you the notes there's pink peppercorn egyptian geranium peach Indian tuberose, ylang ylang, jasmine, Egyptian jasmine, iris, cashmere, sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, and benzoin. Y'all, it's such a beautiful scent. It also has like a creamy, slightly powdery dry down. I'm obsessed with this scent. Let me show you my dent. Do you see that? I'm wearing this fragrance and I'm not just wearing it to church, but I'm just saying it's perfect for church. You can also save 20% using my discount code, the great 20 on soavantgarde.com and get you the Imperial Tuberose. Tuberose Imperial by BDK. All right, y'all. So the next setting is a new job. So for the new job, you want to make an impression, right? Because you want wherever you go, people know you for smelling good. You want people to smell you and know, ooh, she smells good or he smells good. It's always fun being known as a person who smells good, in my opinion. It might not matter to some people, but to me, I just like being known for smelling good, um, among other things. But <laughs> I chose something that smells good. It smells clean. It leaves a beautiful scent trail a beautiful sillage okay like when you leave the bathroom and somebody goes behind you they're gonna be like oh she smells good or he smells good that fragrance is none other than wood sage and sea salt by joe malone y'all this is the perfect first day first new job type scent to me because it smells clean but not like soapy clean and you'll smell good but not too loud. This scent right here is one of my favorite fragrances from Jo Malone. This and Myrn Tonka will always be in my collection, okay? I absolutely love these two fragrances. Wood Sage and Sea Salt is just like, y'all, it has my heart. It opens up with ambred seeds, sea salt, and sage. Very simple, very non-complex, but it smells incredible. Nobody's gonna be smelling better than you on that job. This is a conversation piece, like a conversation starter. Somebody's gonna smell you in the break room or, 
you know, in the hallway or something to ask you, like, what are you wearing? And it will break the ice between you and some of your new coworkers. So I definitely think Woods Agency Salt by Joe Malone is a perfect first day on the job scent. Okay, so the next setting is a girl's night. Listen, if you're not single and you're in a relationship, we love being with our men, okay? Like, I know for me, rolling with my man is like one of the best things ever. However, it's good to have girl time. And when you're with your girls, you want to smell good. You want to smell better. <laughs> but you don't want to do too much. But you want to let them know, like, oh, she's out tonight. Okay, like we ain't see her in a couple of weeks or in a couple of months, depending on your lifestyle. But now we're seeing her and she's here and she's making her presence known. Okay, and I feel like for that type of setting, Lynn Shea by Tiziana Terenzi is perfect. Or is it Lynn's? By Tiziana Terenzi is perfect. It's fruity, so it's fun, it's mass appealing, but then it has a sweet and sexy almond nutty dry down. When I tell y'all, Mm, it's so beautiful. You'll definitely stand out amongst your friends when you're wearing this fragrance. So the notes are, there's a bunch of notes, so I'm not gonna tell you all of them, but I mean, it has orange, bergamot, there's grapefruit, there's uh, green tea, there's jasmine, there's iris, there's fig, orange blossom, Bulgarian rose, sandalwood, um, vanilla flower, vanilla bean, heliotrope. Y'all, this fragrance is so beautiful. It's not a super loud beast. It's not like Tibet or any of your really loud um, Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. You will be smelled, but it's more, it wears a little bit closer to the skin. It's not a skin scent, okay? But it just wears a little bit closer to you. But when you're in your friend group, they will be able to smell you, okay? They will be able to smell you. They're gonna love how you smell because like I said, it's feminine, it's flirty. It's fun, it's mass appealing. It has a nice, yummy, gourmand type dry down, and I'm obsessed. And you can also save 20% using my discount code, thegreat20, on soavantgarde.com and get you this fragrance, okay? Okay, y'all, so the last setting is the first date. So this is for all my single ladies out there who's going on a first date with somebody who they're interested in. They want to smell good. They want to leave a good and lasting impression, but they don't want to send the wrong message, okay? They don't want to be doing too much, but they want to be doing just enough like, huh, you see me, you know what this is. Like, let him know early on what he's going to get. That's what I did with Bay. He knew from the very first day what he was signing up for. <laughs> He probably tried to return me so many times, but he can't. But you want to let them know from the beginning what they're getting themselves into, but not doing too, too much. You know what I mean? So for that, I chose Velvet Tonka by BDK. For me, it's the perfect first date scent because, first of all, you'll smell exotic. I don't know how many women he's dated like the day before or like last week that's smelling like Velvet Tonka. Do you know what I mean? This is gonna be something different to his nose. It's going to be something more exotic. It's gonna be something a little bit more extra, but not too extra, you know what I mean? It smells sexy. It smells very, kind of like innocent, but don't play with me, like, like that, you know what I mean? So it opens up with almond, there's orange blossom, tobacco, rose oil, tonka, bourbon vanilla, amber wood, and amorous. This is a beautiful scent, y'all. And to me, it wears beautifully on the skin. You can spray this on your clothes, but spray this on your skin because when he goes in for the hug and he smells your neck and he's all like nuzzled, well, not nuzzled too much because I don't know how much nuzzling y'all doing on the first date, but when he goes in for the hug and his nose goes into your neck, you want it smelling like Velvet Tonka. Like this to me is so sexy. That almond note and that vanilla, it'll just draw him in. But then you gotta let him know, mm. This is the first date, bro. You gotta show and prove, okay? But I'm gonna give you a little something with the Velvet Tonka. There's more to come if you behave yourself. <laughs> Velvet Tonka by BDK. And y'all can save 20% using my discount code, thegreat20, on soavantgarde.com. That was fun, y'all. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. So thank you guys for always asking me what to wear to different events because it made me think about this video and it was really fun to do. So let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI The Great signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.